Yellowstone volcano alert as steamboat geyser bursts into life with a mystery eruption. Sean Martin, Express UK reports. Yellowstone supervolcano's biggest geyser, steamboat geyser of the Norris Geyser Basin, has been erupting erratically and frequently, and scientists have no idea why this is going on. It's been erupting regularly about a week, every week, since last March. And uh, recently it has erupted in twice in the last three days. Unfortunately though, what's happened is that even though they uh, put in a new thermal monitor May 19th, it only worked for about a week and it's offline again, something's happened to it. They did not have a thermal monitor at Steamboat since uh, the eruption started last March. And uh, that was unfortunate because it's the biggest geyser in the world. And as we know, the Yellowstone supervolcano is the most dangerous supervolcano in the world. It's got a lot of activity lately. And uh, it's my personal opinion that they should put in a thermal monitor there as fast as possible because they're obliged to show, to, uh, to inform the world as to what's happening. Now, Steamboat Geyser erupted twice in quick succession and had some uh, people worried. Scientists at the U.S. Geological Survey reported an eruption on June 12th and also three days later on June 15th it began to blow again. That's very unusual. Volcanologist Janine Krippner tweeted, Yellowstone has an incredible geyser system that is unrelated to magmatic activity other than the magmatic system basically providing heat. Geysers like Old Faithful and Steamboat erupt whenever water and steam get trapped in the tight spot between uh, deep below the geyser's blowhole. The mix of water and steam builds in pressure until it finds its way to the surface where a tall stream of scorching hot water blasts hundreds of feet into the sky. The Steamboat Geyser roared back to life, as we know, last March, and it was the first triple eruption in 15 years, sparking interest from the scientific community. Expert, experts will continue to analyze the geyser because they have to ascertain if they indicate any sort of impending eruption for Yellowstone. Now again, they don't have a thermal monitor there. We uh, posted a video earlier, a few hours ago, having to do with what we saw in the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. They have other monitors in other areas, but not in the Steamboat Geyser area. That's, I don't know, I don't understand why. Now, the agency wrote here, geysers are supposed to erupt and most are erratic, like Steamboat. If the Wyoming volcano were to erupt, as we said, an estimated 87,000 people would lose their lives because if that, uh, if a super eruption took place, that would uh, be very dangerous. Two thirds of the United States would immediately be made uninhabitable because of this. The large spew of volcanic ash into the atmosphere would block out sunlight and directly affect life beneath it, creating a volcanic winter. The massive eruption could be a staggering 6,000 times as powerful as the one that we saw in Mount St. Helens in 1980 that deposited ash in 11 different states and five Canadian provinces. If the supervolcano does erupt, a climate shift would ensue as the volcano would spew massive amounts of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, and uh, that would create a sulfur aerosol reflecting and absorbing sunlight. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, 
and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you. Thank you.